Hello everyone, welcome to NeuroSapiens. In today's tutorial, we'll look at the Python string method isAlpha. So in Python, the isAlpha method returns true if all characters in a specified string are alphabetical characters and there's at least one character in the string. Otherwise, it will return false. So the syntax here is the string object followed by dot isAlpha and an opening and closing parenthesis. So for the string method isAlpha, there are no parameters. Now the variable we'll work with here is high underscore level with the string value. Python is a high level program language that has user-friendly syntax. So we'll print this string just to see the output that we're working with here. And first we'll start with an alphabetical characters check where we check is this string high level all alphabetical characters. Now this will return false. Reason this is is due to the white space and also the punctuation. So the hyphen and then the period at the very end. Now, in addition for is alpha, there needs to be at least one character. So when there's no characters like an empty string, this will also return false. So we see false here as output. So there needs to be a minimum of one character. And so if this is then rechecked with just a single character, so we'll create a variable letter A equal to the string A and then print letter A dot is alpha, we can see here at the output here that that is true. And then a few other considerations for the is alpha method is white space. So where there is trailing white space or any white space, this would not be a alphabetical character. So this will actually then return false. So if we had a white space string here, Python, and we print white space string dot is alpha. This will return false. So this is due to the trailing white space in the string. So this white space character here after the end. And so similarly for numbers, this is not alphabetical characters, so this will also return false. So if we had number string here as a variable where the string was one Python and two CSS, and we check is this all alphabetical characters, this will return false because of the integers one and two. And then lastly, if we also have a look at punctuation and special characters, if there's any punctuation and special characters, the output will also be false. So if we had a string here, a variable excited string with a string Python followed by an excla exclamation mark, and we print excited string dot is alpha. So return false due to the exclamation mark. And similarly for any special character, so we'll try here with the at symbol string at Python and print at symbol string dot is alpha. This will return false due to the at symbol. Now valid alphabetical strings would be like a single character or a single word. As a valid string, create a variable here and give it a string value, hello. And so if we print valid string dot is alpha, this will return true. So similarly to the letter A above, both will return true where there's no Y space, no punctuation, 
and no special characters or any numbers. So this is how to use the if alpha method to check if a string contains only alphabetical characters. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and click the notification bell for weekly videos. Please share the video with anyone who you think would benefit from the content and comment below what topics you would like to learn. If you would like to support this channel and have the means to do so, the best way will be via my Patreon link in the description below. Happy learning and I'll see you in the next tutorial.